out of all the members, like from what I'm seeing, I think Won Young is getting the most hate. What's up, guys? We're back again with another I've re I've I V E I V I've reaction. Now this is more of a guide because I just realized, like after watching those twice and Nix guides, I haven't really like dive into I've like the the word play right there. Yeah, I haven't really got to know the members like in detail i just love their music uh 11 and take it but yeah that's it so hopefully this guide by internet snathan uh will help us even you guys to you know understand and learn more about the members of ive i've yeah anyway let's go it's been a while huh Welcome back to how K-pop groups are formed. Today we're gonna know- mm, By the way, even up to this point, 11 is still topping charts. Right? It's still there. That song. Oh my god, it's so good. It's so good. So I don't know if I'm scared for this comeback because the teaser was so good. So I don't know if it will be like the same impact, the same level with 11, but we do hope that you know it will still be a chart topping song but you know let's trust starship entertainment you know, and these girls the let's go monster rookie group on the scene who already went through some controversy and broke a two year old record set by none other than itsy now let's learn how starship yeah bro this 11 I is just born and discovered from pre-debut to charts. training life and now debut Is a six this member song group is so nice. Debuted on December first, twenty twenty one, with the debut song Eleven yep, they're, they're and three the first single album by the same name, with the fandom name Dive. Now, I've debuted out of Starship Entertainment, the company that brought us Sistar in twenty ten. Master. X Fun fact: I never knew about Starship Entertainment, only when I heard about IVE. I've I've. X in twenty fifteen. Wuju Sunyan or Cosmic Girls in 2016 and Gravity last year in I, I don't even know these but many were I'm waiting sorry. specifically for I and trust me that way was worth it what led to I being an immediate success and hyped up group in 2021 is the fact that they have two members that were promoted for two and a half years in the national international spotlight with the iconic group Eyes One but let's talk about the group's name if you it's Eyes One all this time I thought it was like Eyes Zone international spotlight with the iconic group eyes one but let's talk about the group's name if eyes you're a bit confused like me at first who called them ivy in my past video i've ivy we'll finally I've. debut eyes one members one young and newton in their new group ivy bruh i know it all can be IV. confusing and you know what could help you relax a good book or single-handedly striking down this six-headed boss hydra in raid shadow legends the sponsor of today's video use my link oh no we're, we're gonna skip that right here it is short for i have based on this guy if you can and now back to the video i've is short for i have i have basically the girls have everything and are ready to show it off and you may be surprised that they broke records uh with 11 not bro. in a good way I would say they broke the record for the fastest controversy in K-pop history. Okay, it wasn't that serious. The story goes, in a promotional video for their upcoming appearance on Weekly Idol, the group introduced themselves with their saying and introduction gesture. Nobody really paid attention to it until the group's debut showcase. This time, some began to raise concerns about the hand sign they use. They quickly pointed out that forming the letter E with their right hand was identical to another girl group's introduction, that being Everglow. Luckily, people didn't make a. Ooh, yeah, that, that's like very similar. To another girl group's introduction. That being ever. Right. Luckily, it's like, yeah, it's it's typically technically like the same, right? The e. But it's like, this one is more close. It's closer compared to like N mixes like this, and it sees like this because you somehow like change the direction but for this one it's just like this 
the people didn't make a big deal out of it, but many did agree that an introduction is something unique and important for a new K-pop group, and Starship and I've agreed. They apologized and said that they will revise it for the future. The real record I broke at least, was at the least. one that was broken by ITZY in 2019. At the time, ITZY had the fastest first win by a girl group in K-pop only nine days after debuting with Tala Tala. And now in 2021, seven days after debuting, I've shattered that record yep, by winning yep, yep. on Show Champion on December 8th. Oh yeah, and doing it against EXO's Kai, Everglow, and TWICE. I say this is just a warning sign for everyone about the potential of I. Bro, I swear now, this, this comeback, bro, the beat, holy shit, let's go. Let's learn more about the members. Yujin was born in 2003 in Cheonju, South Korea. Like I mentioned, Yujin and Wonyoung are most popular for being in Eyes 1, F in the chat for the legends. But before that, Yujin's rise to fame was actually being featured in a commercial for contact lenses. Mm -hmm. That's right. And I gotta say, this is probably the dopest pre-debut activity you can have. Like these <laughs> idols that are debuting now are not having the cringy pre-debut commercials or photos anymore. But we are gonna miss them. Then under Starship, Yujin appeared in a handful of music videos for Starship artists. Then in 2018. Yo, out of all the members, like when I saw I've like Ga Gaul caught my attention. But right now, you know, especially with that teaser, like yeah. Eugen is, is wrecking me. On the newest edition of their hit survival produced series, and they were looking for trainees. In comes Eugen and Won Young, both representing Starship Entertainment. As you already know, these two would make it to the end and join Eyes One. Now, I don't need to explain to you how Eyes One went on to be the hottest thing in Korea and Japan at the same time, from sales to wins to awards to concerts. But at the same time, Yujin and Wonyoung were starting to be known by the entire Korean public that even this fanboy's body just started convulsing when meeting him. <laughs> yeah. Yujin would return to Starship Entertainment after Ice One's contract. Oh, yo, she's ended. so pretty there. No. OMG, me. Yujin would return to Starship Entertainment there. after Ice One's contract ended earlier this year. But Ice One was the blessing Starship needed to have the biggest girl group on their hands. Yujin and Wonyoung would begin the countdown to their debut. And finally, Yujin would find her forever group, debuting as the vocalist. And the giant baby of Ice One is now the leader of I. Mm -hmm. Kyu was born in 2002. Bro, in bro, that look, this look during the music Yujin video is of now Eleven. The leader. Kyle was born here we go bro this this caught my attention i'm like okay you're my bias in 2002 in incheon south korea we don't know much yet about her pre-debut activities or how she got into k-pop except that she has been training for three to four years in starship and it is also said that she and she looks was casted you know by jyp even prettier now before changing the starship that while in starship so entertainment she got hair. close to like Yujin it and matches Wino. her in fact, so much Kyle was originally going to join them and participate in produce 48 but for some reason she didn't she just had to wait a little bit longer for her chance to debut as the rapper of i Nay was born in 2000 but her rapping talent skills aren't showcased yet in 11 and take it so hopefully like in the their comeback it will be showcased or in nagoya japan which means she's the only foreign member in ive and making a bit of history as the first japanese idol to debut out of starship entertainment being born and raised in japan they probably saw k-pop's initial rise in japan in the early 2000s being motivated by K-pop, she decided to audition for Starship Entertainment when they came to Japan. When she passed and was accepted by Starship, she moved to Korea to start training and enrolled in an art school. After some time, Rei was announced as the fifth member to join IVE and debut as the rapper and vocalist of the group. Oh yeah, mm. and she met one of her idols, Red Velvet's Joy, and left a mm. heartwarming message saying, I dreamt of becoming a singer while watching you. Yo, they, they posted this, uh, like a more updated version of this photo, like a few weeks ago with Joy. But I, I just remembered now that I, I saw this teaser poster of their comeback album, and Ray and Gaul, I think, uh, wrote the B-side track, or were part of. Especially the rap part, if I'm not mistaken. I so we'll crying, get those rap lines, are, guys. Okay? 
Won Young was born in 2004 in Seoul, South Korea. What you may not know is that while being born in Korea, Won Young is part Taiwanese. Her father is Korean but grew up in Taiwan where he met Won Young's mother who is part Korean and part Taiwanese. You know how it is, life. Early on, Won Young was very bright. She began to learn English in an English kindergarten in Korea where she had to speak English. Now, while her pronunciation is nearly perfect, she isn't completely fluent in English. But I mean, she could fool all of us. I'm so beyond excited to finally make a debut and perform today at the showcase. I won't disappoint you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Do you ever feel like a piece of trash compared to people like Won Young? Anyways, her father <laughs> was a music teacher, which is probably... Yo, but hey, like out of all the members, like from what I'm seeing... I think Won Young is getting the most hate because a lot of people are complaining that she's trying to act too cute, you know? And there's an issue recent, I mean, not recently, but in the past few months that she is being, like, prioritized by the company because, like, in some of their performances, like, she's the, like, costume-wise or, like, the, the dress-up, she stands out compared to the other members, so maybe that's where the hate is coming from. Won Young but I, I don't know, I don't know. Life and music. Somehow, Won Young ended up in Starship Entertainment, and you can catch her in pre debut activities. Now, and these girls are so young, off, right? And like it 18, 17. Like Won Young was made for this show. She was revealed to be the first place to winner of the show the with hate, over 300,000 views, becoming the center and face of Eyes One. Oh, and another fun fact, the finale was on her 14th birthday. Yeah, she was 14 here. <laughs> Won Young was an immediate superstar idol at such a young age when she was with Ice One, as they became a household name in K-pop. But then it came to an end, but not for Won Young, as she was basically guaranteed to be a dominant giant in K-pop. No, literally, she's like 5'7 or 173 <laughs> centimeters. Holy and shit, now Won Young, with all that talent, brought it to her new group, becoming the vocalist and face of I. Liz was born in 2004 in Jeju, South Korea. Coming from this island off the southern coast of South Yo, Korea, her, her, the there blonde wasn't hair much matches opportunity her so in much. music when Liz was growing up. Aside from playing sports and becoming a part of a dance group at her middle school, when it came Let's to high school, this Liz love. had bigger plans. Hey. And so she moved to Seoul when she turned 16. She entered Starship Entertainment and began training to be an idol. Liz was another IVE member that was supposed to join the others in Produce 48, but didn't. Liz was still able to work on projects like acting for Taeyeon's This Christmas music video. Still training, she probably saw that her dream of debuting was happening soon, and she decided to focus totally and go all in on becoming a K-pop idol. That she is rumored to have the dropped dimples, out of school though. before debuting. The dimples. It looks to have paid off as she debuted as the main vocalist of IVE. And last but not least, Iso was born the in 2007 Mokne in Gyeonggi, South Korea. And Iso got into the entertainment world really young, and it all started at another big company. Well, one of the largest in Korean entertainment. She was a member of SM Entertainment Kids' first generation models. Eventually, she decided to switch to training to be an idol and switch from SM to Starship, where she trained for two years, debuting as the vocalist and Magne, the youngest of IVE. Hmm, it's it. Thank you again, Internet Nathan. Do we have more at the end? No, okay. Guys, I'm excited for their comeback. Like, this group has been getting praises and hate at the same time. Like, especially with their, I think their manners, right? I've, I've seen this one video. Yeah, yeah. That they're being disrespectful towards their, like, elders because it's a, you know, it, like in a music shows or something that you, you have to bow or yeah I'm not really familiar with the everything but they've been getting hit with their vocals with their attitude with their I don't know with their company but hey guys I mean this group right here is like bagging so much awards in their first three months and I can't wait to see them like progress even further, especially with this promising comeback. So expect more I've content here in this channel as well, as I've said, you know, when I heard 11. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something about IVE, IVE, and let's support this group as well. I'll see you guys in the next one.